So now, hopefully, we should be in a position to build Falcon, and hopefully it will build without any issues. So let's tidy this up. Oops. Uh, that's the one thing about this mouse with focus where the windows focus follows the mouse is if you forget uh, where the mouse is and it's on the wrong window it could be quite catastrophic which is what just happened uh, why the browser just shut down so just see how big that build was because it took so long just out of interest 5 gig, that's a fair size tidy that up and while it's deleting I'll download Falcon that's a tiny build I do think this is quite a small package because it relies on the QT libraries mostly to do all the heavy work and it looks like it's not going to take too long to build either 2.2 SBUs so now extract that So install Falcon by one of the following commands, unless you unless you've installed PySide and KI18, remove translations for the sample Hello Python script. So remove them because don't recognise those packages. Fix the missing including QT5. Fix build problem, introduce QT515. Now build the program. So I'm just going to run these separately to ensure there aren't any problems. Right, so there's a problem. Right, well, let's do an LD config, see if that fixes that issue. No. Could not set up the AppStream test, AppStream CLI is missing. Stream CLI. Let's see if we can find out what that is. So it looks like it's a glib library. That's not part of BLFS, interestingly. Nothing there at all. Let's have a look at the dependencies for the package to see if there's anything obvious there that's required. Uh, no KDE frameworks.
Um, let's try help. See if it tells us anything. Okay, so there's lots there. Let's see if there's anything about app stream. No, there isn't. Oh, uh, no. Um, it does say it's a test, so is it something to do with the test? I wonder if we could disable them for a moment. Seem to be anything there. No. So I don't really know. What's going on here? Um and certainly that app stream is not on the requirements here. Could not find package from configuration file provided by QT5 X11 extras with any of the following names. All right, so it's the extras. QT5 extras. Add the installation prefix of QT5 11 extras to see make prefix path. So is it that extra CMake modules? I thought we'd already done that. Um, I could try reinstalling that. Well, it won't harm, do any harm, so I'm going to try reinstalling this in case there's something in that. No, there's no dependencies on that either. Let's look for these. Just the searching of these files in case there's somewhere that's not in a path. Um, No, they don't exist at all, so that's why it's complaining. Could you five X eleven extras? I would have thought that'd be part of QT five that we've already installed.
Right, QT5X11 Extras as a library that's installed as part of QT5. But nowhere in the BLFS manual does it mention. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Let's make. No. Q25X11 extras. Yeah, there's no mention of that either of those files. find that file so we've got that one see like version 3.21.2 this says it needs 16 to use it. So we can suppress the warning with that, but that will probably just leave us with this. Sage to set the environment for Falcon. Uh, let's have a look at this. So there's nothing obvious there that would help. Um, again from scratch so it finds as a look skipped So that looks like that's just an information message because it's carried on after that. But it's this bit here it seems to bulk out. XCB found version 1.14, XCB util found version opt orgs XCB found version found components and then there's this QT5 config CMake. Um, 
Right, going to have to go away and uh, have a good investigation on this because I'm not sure why, uh, what's going on here. So I'll come back when I've got something. 